Tonight I'd like to start by um, saying how honored I am to have been chosen to represent um, my district, Natomas Unified, as Teacher of the Year. This could not have been possible without the support of my colleagues, administrators, parents and students, community members, or the support of my family, especially my husband, Lance, and my two kids that are at home right now. But thank you for being here. As we all know, teaching is a profession that's very challenging. It requires the knowledge, but also the patience, dedication, and most of all, willingness to see our students as individuals, many of which have yet to realize their dreams and aspirations. And something um, today that I notice, of course, on the first day of school, is just the potential the students have, and just how today on the first day they don't realize how far they can go. As teachers, we must get to know our students first and foremost, and that's, of course, what we use the first day for the first couple of weeks. And I've spent all day doing that, getting to know who my kids are, which is extremely important. We need to understand who they are, what experiences they hold, and what motivates them. In saying this, I'm reminded of a quote by Poet Eats. Education is not just filling of a pill, feeling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. It's how we motivate and stimulate our students to think and to become an active participant role, um, participants in their learning that's important. And that's what we all do here. Students must also believe that excellence is possible. It's our duty as teachers to challenge and to hold high expectations, and that's something that I've just heard over and over through all of the speeches. But at the same time, we need to provide them with the tools to succeed. Teaching has always been one of my passions. The first time that um, I formed an appreciation for my teachers was in elementary school in Mrs. Lucas's fourth grade class. And I teach fourth grade and I've taught it for the last 13 years. So it really holds dear, dear to my heart that that's when I developed that passion at Sassoon Valley Elementary. The amount of patience and her dedication she had for all her students made a lasting impression on me. Mrs. Lucas created a safe learning environment where I felt welcome, I could express my ideas, explore my curiosities, and just be me. And that's something that I re reiterated day, day after day in my classroom. It's something I always strive for in my own classroom. Natomas is not just a place where I work, it is also my home. This affords me the opportunity to stay in contact with many of my students and parents. Although many of my students have gone on to attend college or gone on to middle school or high school, I still see them in the local neighborhood, and many of them share with me what they enjoyed about their fourth grade year. The feeling I have that, that I may have left a lasting impression on them as Mrs. Lucas did on me warms my heart and reminds me as to why I continue to love teaching. Again, I want to thank you and I'm honored to be among the number of teachers being recognized tonight for their hard work. Great job to my colleagues. Thank you.